So earlier in the week we were talking about uh, the, why the toast had shadow marks instead of char marks where the metal was in contact with it during the cooking. And you uh, had asked me the question well, about uh, meat on a barbecue and why it does get char marks and has the opposite effect where it looks like it's transferring more energy. So I decided to, uh, to do an experiment to, to show and uh, as I explained earlier the difference being that the grill is being preheated when you're putting a piece of meat on a, on a barbecue. So what I did was I, I stuck the grill itself <clears throat> in the refrigerator until it got to the same temperature as the meat because I didn't want to bring the meat out to get to the same temperature as the grill. And then me and my buddy put it on the, uh, the barbecue to see what would happen. So again, this is a, there's no temperature delta between the meat and the grill uh, bef going in before the, uh, the heat's being applied. So what we should see is not char marks, we should see more of a shadow just like we do with the toast. So um, that's exactly what we did. And as you'll see here, you can see the temperature differential right there. There's my dog, Zena. Hi, Zena. Get out of the way. And then we're going to peek underneath and flip it. This is probably after about, I don't know, five minutes. And you can see the uh, lighter marks, <clears throat> as I had uh, predicted, showing that there's no extra heat energy being transferred from the, from the metal grill itself. It's actually robbing some of the heat energy, just like from the toast. Basically, it's the same thing. So there it is. We ate the burgers, they're delicious with cheese.